Within the past hour, the gates open at the Port Natchez River Fest. It features boat races, carnival rides, and food, but it also is a way to showcase Port Natchez and its riverside setting. KFDM's Leslie Rangel joins us live from Port Natchez with more. Leslie? Yes, Kelly, that's right. And there are some folks walking around here. The gates opened up at 530. It's youth night, but check out the vendors. The food vendors are closed. That's to leave sales for the nonprofit food vendors inside the entertainment gates. Now, earlier today, we learned more about what this event does for the local economy. It's crunch time here in Port Natchez. Just hours away from opening the gates for the 14th annual Riverfest. That says a lot about the community, about the volunteers, about the chamber itself. Dozens of volunteers dedicate their time to making this event possible, not only to bring entertainment, but to contribute to their community. We're able to give back in the way of scholarships. We also were able to fund uh, this past year a $5,000 improvement to the pavilion restrooms. Once areas like this fill up, revenue starts pouring in. We've been able to contribute year over year about ten dollars to $15,000 towards scholarships and towards improvements, and we plan on being able to do that once again. The extra traffic doesn't only stop on the riverfront. Here along Port Natchez Avenue, boutiques like Nanny's and Suzanne's also benefit from the increase in revenue. Since the Riverfest, I've had people just wandering in all day long. Um, buying snacks, looking at trying on clothes. It's the quiet before the storm now at her shop, but this weekend she's ready to handle what's to come. A lot of customers through our store, which makes us very happy. Now the festival does go on through Sunday. Sunday is completely free, but tonight's first concert kicks off at 630. You can get some tickets here at the park. They're $15 to so come out, enjoy some music, some food, and have a good time. Reporting live in Port Nature's Lester Rangel, KFBM 6 News.